What the? The gear just split in her retracting. Oh my god. Oh my god, I forgot to state in my review of Chain to the Grave and Tombstone Lifter that uh, there's another difference between this part. This one snaps to lock into place like this, and the other one connects into the base and it twists to lock into place. And also the head, the pole, I don't think the, the pole doesn't even, isn't even supposed to come out from the head, whereas the other one does. I see, like the, this one's just glued in, but yeah, see. It's a twist a lock. It, it's all one piece. This is two separate pieces here. Yeah, there's a broken gear in the gearbox. See, and it can pop up like that too. So yeah, there's a there's definitely a broken gear in there. I'll have to do that tomorrow. So again, here's here's our first difference. The older model, which is gear driven, again the relay switches, and then because it spins both directions, and the newer model, which is levered, which only spins one direction, and there's the boards. And this is the part that's rounded out on the newer model. You can tell. But I'm for now. I'm going to take the part from my life size one since that one since that one doesn't even work right now. See.
Also, the tw the 2009 body would not work. The 2010 body would not work on the 2009 base, and the 2009 body would not work on. The Wait, I don't even have the 2009 body for my hovering ghost, so I don't even. That wouldn't work though either. It's just like the Rising Reaper and the Tombstone Lifter. They don't. The 2010 body doesn't work on the 2009 base or anything like that. Jesus. Yeah, see, look, this is what happens when you disconnect the relay switch wires or the relay switch doesn't work. It disintegrates the belt piece and the belt gets really bad and worn. I've had to replace that like eight times in my Guardian of the Grave that I disabled the relay switch on. <laughs> Thank you. 
He's brown. Sensor sucks. Longine Pumpkin Carver has these bolts holding her on that I have to take out. And there's Longine Lilies. She has a lot of pulls, Jesus. She's put together pretty well though. I... Oh wow, I never realized how much thicker her springs were than the Jumping Spider. Like they're thick compared to the Jumping Spider. Holy crap, the mechanism, those screw holders are snapped off for this gearbox. What the hell? This thing is in shit shape. Look at this. Look at the, even this part of the base is cracked. Oh yeah, when I first set this up, this was the store display. It didn't come with screws in this part. So like it would be all crooked and it would fall over when it lunged. I had to actually put screws in it myself and that piece would have snapped if I didn't. Yeah. So imagine that not having screws in there and it has to hold this heavy head assembly. That doesn't work too well. <laughs> of course it's the square shaft gear that's broke. Yay, I have a spare. I don't know if it's exactly the same, but it'll have to do. It looks the same. Oh my god, it's not just the square shaft gear that's broke. Look, it's still, there's still something else broke. The hell. Okay, so what's happening is this gear is popping up. There we go, this piece. This is what was missing. That's why that gear was sliding out of place. So I re-hot glued the screw holders that were broken off on this. And I'm gluing, just covering the parts in the base that's cracked with glue as well. There, and it's crack, it was cracking down here too, so I'm going to cover that with glue. Like this whole base, look at this, this whole base is like cracking, it's terrible. There is like really bad quality on her. This would explain why she was leaning all the time. Here's again these these are pull pieces that slide into the base right there where those holes are and once they're in you can't get them out unless you take the base apart and press the tabs from the inside of the base because obviously these lock on the inside so it's it's weird so yeah so this being a store display I think it has this all this obviously tab locks in here but also there's four screws holding it on one here which goes through there that holds that on there's two that go on the t wait there's one that goes here and then there's ones that go down vertically which screw in like that so yeah they put a lot of screws in this thing to make sure it wouldn't come out <laughs> so, then the, so then the springs go back on i almost never put these parts back on that go on this part i just never do i i it's cool because i was able to fix this without using that for parts but the the reason why is because I can't get these bolts out. I, I just couldn't. And that motor is like really glued in there too. So, yeah. Oops. All right. So, it's all attached. All right. So, look at that blank battery compartment. All right. Let's try it. 
I have to hold it because it doesn't have any back weight on it, as you can see. Her hair is probably going to get all messed up now like Rosemary since it was laying on the floor for a while. Oh no. I don't know what that was about. That's not good. Oh great. Fucking hell. No, but no, look at it. Look at how unstable mine is. Look at how much it freaking wobbles. It's not supposed to be like loose like that because all the others I've seen when they jump up they don't wobble like that. Look at that pole. It's this pole is literally bending. What the f is this? This pole has to be snapped. It's not even this. This one. It, this one is too. Like look at how much that one wobbles. Like they're just they just the whole thing bends. It's terrible. Ugh. This is the reason why she leans so much. Look at these screws aren't doing anything to really support her. Like look at how these are just wobbling. They're, it's like these pieces just aren't holding them tight enough. They're, and they're as tight as they can get. I tried tightening them. But it, that's definitely the problem. I've got this all taped up now, so maybe it'll help her not be so floppy. <laughs> I don't know. But this one's pretty loose, too. This one, like, bends. <laughs> 